pure populations of stem cells into the pancreas? Yeah, the importance of delivering pure populations of stem cells into the pancreas relies on decreasing the volume of the cells to be, to be uh, infused, in addition to the fact that you're getting rid of contaminating cell populations that you do not want to be injected with your cells. And it becomes very challenging if you're going into a very small environment such as the pancreatic arteries or spinal cord or even ophthalmic arteries or even into the testicles. So small organs require a uh, smaller volumes of cells to be injected. So we're getting rid of the uh, unwanted populations and their uh, possible side effects and we are only concentrating on the cells that we want. What is special about the Jordanian method? Yeah. The Jordanian method was developed to incorporate the highest safety parameters out there. So we are utilizing autologous cells that are taken from the same patient that do not carry any side effects on the patient and they do not impose any threat and there is no need to worry about GVHD or to worrying about matching or rejection. In addition, no transmission of infectious agents such as viruses and other stuff that we worry about all the time. And it's easier to uh, pass through regulatory uh, hurdles due to uh, transmission uh, of, of uh, cells from one person to another. So that's number one. Number two, we are working with purified cells that are purified using clinically approved systems that are in use at different institutions around the world. So it's utilization of purified autologous stem cells in a clinically approved format. That's the Jordanian method. Why do you want to bring the Jordanian method to Chicago? Well, the Jordanian method now is in application in different parts of the world. The Jordanian method is now application in different parts of the world, including Jordan and some Arab countries. I think and I believe that American patients and other patients around the world deserve the, uh, the, the, to be treated with the highest method out there. And I think they can benefit from the Jordanian method uh, for treatment of chronic and devastating diseases. There are patients all over the world. There are so many patients suffering from untreatable and devastating diseases. Our goal is to bring this treatment here, right here into the U.S., so patients can benefit from it. We've been called and been requested by American institutions, University of United Chicago, and other institutions to bring this therapy into the U.S., and we are now fulfilling the request, trying to collaborate with academic institutions to bring it into the U.S. Uh, population. What are the side effects of stem cell transplantation? There are multiple side effects for stem cell transplantation. Depending on the type and source of stem cells to be used, methods for uh, processing and purifying and preparing the cells into the lab, and methods for transplanting the cells into the patient's body. Starting with the type and, uh, and, and source of the stem cells, if these are autologous, unmanipulated cells, this, these are the safest cells to be used. However, if you start working with embryonic stem cells and cells from other unapproved sources, then you get into some kind of side effects. There are two, so two types of side effects that are out there. Side effects due to the procedure itself, such as the surgery or such as the, uh, uh, if there is any anesthesia or uh, collecting uh, of, uh, collection of bone marrow. And there are side effects related to the stem cell population itself that's being transplanted. So we try to minimize the side effects by using uh, minimally invasive procedures and preparing cells from the patient themselves.